Hello everyone! In this episode I'd like to show you how you can easily use poses that were originally made and intended for Genesis 3 on the Genesis 8, including 8.1 characters. So the biggest difference between 8 and 3 was in fact that 3 used to be rigged in a T-pose by default and 8 is rigged in an A-pose. It's actually very easy to remember. 3 T-pose, 8 A-pose. But uh, and including 8.1 so I'm kind of including 8.1 in this as well but there's there's other changes under the hood but one of the things that applies to just posing characters including animations by the way is this rigging so as a result let me just go and show you what I'm talking about if I bring in a Genesis 8.1 male for example let's let's try it with 8.1 like cutting edge technology if i go and bring him in he's he's standing here in his a pose that's cool if i go out and go maybe into my genesis 3 starter essentials pack and apply one of the included poses here like urban model pose for example it looks ugh, kind of it's the hand shouldn't come out there and that's just that's just not right, is it? Uh, maybe also this. Yeah, no, that. Oh, that's just that's just painful. And yeah, that's just not going to work. But really, in principle, it works. It's just one small ish adjustment that needs to be made. And a very, very exciting guy by the name of Agent Unawares has made it possible for us to literally just install a single zip package, one for male, one for female, that'll just add a single slider to this so that we can go and dial it up and, you know, make it work. So the slider is, I'll show you where the product is and how to install it in a moment, but the slider is hidden under with the figure selected on the parameters tab. You can head over to pose controls and then under here you have something called the G3M pose and in Genesis female you'd have the, you'd have the G3F pose and there's several sliders here. One of them is literally the one that corrects everything. It's the G3M full body morph and if I go and dial that up to 100% Look how handsome the little devil looks. So now the pose is going to work. So when this thing is dialed up, all the poses are going to work just fine. So you can just leave that dialed up and then dial in other poses that will then, you know, make the make the guy look handsome in no matter what pose you're using. And notice these are all Genesis 3 poses that work on him now. So what's what's the secret sauce? What's the magic? How much does it cost? It's free. Agent Unawares has made that available completely for free. This is the world's greatest pose converted. Quite rightly so. Yes, absolutely. Go and check it out on DeviantArt. There's, I'm going to put links in the description, one for the male version and one for the female version. And yes, you can support the man as well, not only by subscribing to his ArtStation page, but also to, you know, making generous contributions. It is just such a wonderful tool literally so on either male or female you get this little arrow here and that lets you download the file so when we do that i'm just going to go download this it's on my thing it's already installed i think you may have to join DeviantArt for this for the download to work it comes up with a zip file i've already installed it and uh, the zip file you just go and right click on it and extract it into your das studio library make sure that all all figures are closed so best thing is to close that studio down then unzip that little zip file the two little zip files unzip them into your das studio library and then open das studio again load a figure and you should see the morphs there so one in the genesis male figure that's under the character under pose controls there's this thing here g3m pose and you can do these things individually like for left arm left leg right arm right right leg you can do that it also of course works with the genesis 3 female character i can also show you that here's the 8.1 female death load and she too has this little slider so if we go and try and add a pose to her something like that oh that doesn't look oh that's just painful oh and i guess this yeah that's just that's just ouchiroo. That just doesn't work, does it? But by the magic of the world's greatest pose converter on the parameters tab under pose controls, we have G3F pose and she also has a magic dial like that. So you dial that up, you put it onto Genesis 8, you just dial that up and ha, ah, happiness. 
You may have to make the usual adjustments for custom characters, so that is inevitable. When a poll is the same made for Genesis 3 base and you're using something like Victoria, and that, that might uh, lead to hands intersecting with the body and all that. But that's, you know, that's kind of inevitable and that's just, that's just how it works. So yes, Agent Unawares, that is how you apply these things. I hope this was helpful. I've been meaning to make this video for literally ever, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I'm finally getting around to doing it. Yes, so basically just unzip the file directly into your Das Studio library with Das Studio closed and then when you open it again it's just like an extra morph dial that's now added to your figures on all your Genesis 8 figures. Works with both Genesis 8 and 8.1. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your beautiful and wonderful and exciting and amazing support. I really appreciate that. Every penny of it goes into making my stream and my programs and my projects better. And of course, you can get a credit and you can be part of it. And I really, really thank you for it. My friends, I will see you in the next video. Have fun until then. Take care. Bye-bye.